on page five, this is the first red flag our team has when we're involved in a construction project. If you or your team are using general descriptions to communicate your building standard locks, this is a red flag. The amount of variations for lock specifications in commercial buildings and facilities is varied and complex. Let's say the lock pictured in your workbook is your building standard lock and your team wants pricing and availability on 20 locks and sends us an email that reads, please provide price and availability on 20 Schlage mortise locks with lever handles, brush chrome finish, and interchangeable core cylinders. Well, that seems like a pretty good description, doesn't it? But how many variations does this lock really have? If you went to this lock manufacturer's website and did a little research, you'd find that this lock is available with about, oh, about 57 different mechanical functions, six electronic functions, 31 different lever designs, five rows designs, 14 different finishes, three versions of the standard strike plate, 12 types of mortise cylinders, three different collars, and about 100 plus keyways. This is a lot of variations. Trying to describe this many variations leaves a lot of room for errors. You know what doesn't leave any room for errors? Part numbers. If you use every letter and every digit the manufacturer uses in the order they use them, you're giving the lock supplier only one choice. And this leads us to our first action step. Music